and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with Mix It Up Monday, a hop started by Anna with Peace Craft Love and Kimberly with I'd Rather Be Scrapbooking. And today we are doing this sketch by Lottie Loves Paper and I have created with this once before I believe and this is totally different it doesn't come out the way I planned but I still love it I have these two pictures of my son and our dog and some scraps from print shop by Vicki Booten and so I decided since I was going to use those scraps and um the embellishments I also am going to use Vicki Booten watercolors in these rainbow shiny colors um, blue, green were the intention, and then I end up adding in the gold, which looks yellow in there, but it is 100% gold. And then I use this pre-made mixed media paper, which is also Vicky Booten. And I'm going to use this scrapping reflection stencil that I've already covered some of the stars up because I knew that I, uh, that might take some time. So I figured I'd do that before I got started. And I'm going to put that watercolor through that stencil. So I've never done it before. So this is all new. So I've got lots of paper, some, em uh, some scraps that I want to get used, my embellishments, my mixed media, and these cute pictures, as well as this awesome sketch. So let's see how this goes. So first things first, I'm going to start with the blue and push it through. Um, and I wanted to do four of each of the colors. Although I do end up doing five of the gold, which is perfectly fine. But um, I push through the blue first and then do the green and then the gold, which, like I said, looks so totally yellow, but it's not. It is absolutely gold um, and shiny. All of it is so shiny and it's not super saturated. So I do a couple of coats of some of them and then I leave some of them to be kind of um, translucent, really. Um, especially with that mixed media already on the background. So I figured that way I did not have to do all the splatters, although I'm going to still do some splattering. So after I get those done, I'm going to move my stencil over and create a couple of different places that I had covered that weren't going to work with where they were on the stencil. So here is what it looks like now and there's a gap in the middle section so I want to put something there so I'm going to move the stencil down and put another star over there in the middle between that gold and green one in on the right and then also one between the green and blue on the left and I don't mind that there's two golds next to each other they're going to be separated by the rays and everything and that is perfectly fine so I do go back in, pardon my crazy chair, I do go back in and add a little extra oomph to some of those. You might notice a difference in one of the next um, parts of this video. But I do take my watercolor um, pin and tap out some splatters of all three of the colors that I've used and put them kind of all over the place because there's already black splatter that's built in on the back of the paper but um, I'm gonna add a little bit more splatter of the colors on the outside. So then I'm just gonna take a ruler and a metallic pen. I cannot pronounce Guangna, I don't know. I got this with a scrapbook I ordered off of Amazon. They're metallics that show up in dark colors. And so I thought that would work going over that black background mixed media. And so I start with like a uh, pewter color and that's what's going to all of my stars and then I'm going to bring in a gold and make all the extra little rays and they're not like every other one although it's pretty close but there's a couple that are kind of close together and so there's not a gold that comes in between them but I wasn't worried about that and there's a couple gold ones I think that are right next to each other I'm okay with that too um, I just really wanted to get the rays on there Pretty similar to this light, the sketch because the sketch is really cool. And I had considered doing something like puppy paws instead of the star since it's him playing with our dog. But I really just wanted to steer clear of anything pet related. I have done a lot of dog layouts lately because I have a lot of 
um, dog embellishments and papers from Echo Park and I'm trying to use them up but I don't want everything to be that way so this picture was of the two of them and while yes it's of the dog it's really about the relationship between the dog and the boy um, they love each other so much and I love watching the two of them together because when my dog will calm himself down long enough to be loved on it is a um, moment to document because he does not sit still I'm not sure if I've done it yet, but I have a layout to do of me trying to love on him and he is like losing his marbles and won't sit still and he it's just a big blur. I think I have done it. I feel like I remember that. So, anywho, so I've gotten my pictures down. There was like a circular feature um in like golden yellow that was on the sticker sheet. So I pulled that off and I tucked that under where there is like a round embellishment underneath that right picture. And then um, I also have pulled off some embellishments over there to the right from the sticker book and the thickers and um, the sticker sheet, as well as what I want to use as my title, which is what I'm putting down now, says this special time. And I will add to that before the layout is complete to make this title a little bit bigger. Um, because I had my son come in here because there was a few different options on here that I considered, um, the small things, which of course our dog is not small. Hey friend, but he doesn't call him friend. He calls him Bubby. Um, so that didn't really fit. So I was kind of going over what my options were with this collection. I could have made whatever I wanted, but he and I decided that this special time would work. And then I added, um, a little something and he was thrilled. So now I am just putting these little black back background gold stars um, just in three different places. I don't want them overtaking all the other things going on, but I did want to add a little something. So I just put them at the end of three of the little gold stripes um, to make that a little bit different. And um, other than that, I add some little embellishments. One up at the top says sweet photo. I put this little half circle on the first picture that says this. Um, and then I put a little pic camera down here in the bottom right corner. And then just a little chipboard that's got some stars on it and the word magic. Um, I don't want to cover the circle completely, but I was okay covering like a little gap right there. It was kind of odd. And then I put down the word Bubby, which is like I said, is what my son calls our dog. I catch myself calling him that all the time. Um, just because Jameson says it so often. So, you know. Um, so, and then I hunt down the word with out of my Tim Holtz, um, one of my word phrases. And I'm going to add that, tuck that in there. So it'll say this special time with Bubby. Um, our dog is a, over 11 years old. Uh, he has lived a long life. He still acts like a puppy, but I know... Um, for a large dog like him, 11 is a pretty old age. And there are definitely times when we can tell that he is an older dog. Um, and then other times he acts like he is a brand new puppy. He's hysterical. So we just are um, taking every day we get with him as a blessing and documenting all the time. Um, and, you know, and that's okay because that's the way you're supposed to do it. So I decide because she has, or the Lottie Loves Paper has a place down here in the bottom right um, for journaling. And I didn't want to write on this paper because it's gritty. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's kind of like, well, it's pretty much like her mixed media paper that has that grit to it. So it can hold all the mixed media. And so I didn't want to write straight on there because I knew that it would be bumpy and look bad. So I pull a label out of the sticker book. And I just put it down in the black since that's the other color that I'm working with. And I just take a gold um, Jelly Roll Moonlight pen and a little note about Jameson loving to hang out with his dog. So that is it. I'm going to show you the sketch by Lottie Loves Paper again. I hope that you will go below to the description box. That is where all of the, I think there's going to be a playlist and you can go and see all the other creatives who are hopping along with the Mix It Up Monday. 
and using this sketch. I think that it's going to be a lot of fun to see how everybody does it. So um, I do love, actually, and I meant to mention this, how this there's some seepage on the stencil. Since I didn't know how it was going to work, I was fine with it one way or the other. Um, and I do love the fact that it's really not rigid. It kind of flows, especially with all that other mixed media that's just kind of splotchy on there. So um, I hope that you all have enjoyed your time with me. And I hope you'll come back and see me again really soon. Go check out all the awesome creatives below. And hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Have a great day and happy scrapping.